the difference in differences design is a powerful tool for cause effect analysis. It depends on a crucial assumption, the parallel chain assumption. That is, the triptych group and the control group are similar in every aspect, except that the control group did not receive the treatment. In other words, the triptych group and the control group have the same chain. In the absence of the intervention, we can test. The parallel chain assumption by graphing the chain or performing the difference in differences analysis on time periods before the treatment. Both methods need more data before the treatment. Let me show you how to visualize the chain first. We use the graph two way command in data to plot the chain. In each parenthesis, I scatter or Draw a linear fitted line for the average divorce probability for the control state and the triptych state before and after the no four divorce law implementation. The graph shows that before the treatment, the divorce trend of the two states are not parallel. The parallel trend assumption is likely to be violated in this case. We can perform the difference in differences analysis for the two time periods before the treatment to check whether the trends before treatment are parallel. The estimate shows that before the treatment, the trends were not parallel, as we have seen in the graph. One way to perform the difference in differences analysis with Dow parallel trend is to add a time variable to the model and interact with the treated and after variables. We can also include additional control variables in the model to account for other differences between the two states.